Hey, everyone, welcome back to our movie analysis series. Today, we're going to dive into the 2007 comedy drama, Evan Almighty, starring Steve Carell, Morgan Freeman, and Lauren Graham. Although it's often viewed as a simple comedy, there's so much more to this film than meets the eye. Let's explore the deeper symbolism and messages in Evan Almighty. Evan Almighty is a modern-day retelling of the story of Noah's Ark. The film follows Evan Baxter, a newly elected congressman who, at the insistence of God, is tasked with building an ark in preparation for an impending flood. The movie is filled with symbolism and powerful messages. Let's break it down 1. The Call to Action At the beginning of the film, Evan Baxter is summoned by God, played by Morgan Freeman, to build an ark. Despite his initial disbelief, Evan is given a series of signs that make it clear he must take action. This mirrors the story of Noah from the Bible, where he is chosen by God to build an ark. This scene illustrates the call to action that many of us experience in life. Sometimes, we're called to do something that seems crazy or impossible. But, like Evan, we must have faith and trust in the journey, even if it seems outlandish. The movie encourages us to listen to our inner voice, follow our instincts, and trust in something bigger than ourselves. 2. Faith and Perseverance Through the film, Evan faces numerous challenges and doubts. From his family's initial skepticism to the ridicule of the public, he is constantly tested. However, despite the obstacles, Evan remains steadfast in his mission. This mirrors the importance of faith and perseverance in our own lives. Like Evan, we encounter challenges that test our resolve. But it's through these challenges that we grow and ultimately succeed. Evan's journey reminds us that with faith, perseverance, and determination, we can overcome even the most daunting obstacles. 3. Environmentalist the Anathurky theme in Evan Almighty is environmental responsibility. The film highlights the importance of taking care of the planet and the consequences of ignoring environmental issues. The impending flood in the movie is a metaphor for the very real issue of climate change. By building the ark, Evan is not only saving himself and his family, but he's also saving the animals and the environment. The movie encourages us to take responsibility for our actions and work towards preserving the planet for future generations. 4. The Power of Acts of Kindness One of the most heartwarming aspects of Evan Almighty is the idea that small acts of kindness can have a big impact. Throughout the film, we see Evan performing acts of kindness, whether it's helping a homeless man or spending time with his family. These acts may seem small, but they have a significant impact on those around him. The movie reminds us that we all have the power to make a difference in the world, no matter how small our actions may seem. 5. The Importance of Family Finally, Evan Almighty emphasizes the importance of family and spending time with loved ones. Despite his busy schedule, Evan realizes that his family is the most important thing in his life. Building the Ark ultimately brings his family closer together. God contacts Congressman Evan Baxter and tells him to build an Ark in preparation for a great flood. Buffalo newsman Evan Baxter is elected to Congress with the slogan, Change the World. He locks into a huge house in a new Virginia suburb. His Capitol office is also fantastic, but there's a catch, he's tapped by the powerful congressman Long to co-sponsor a bill to allow development in national parks. In steps God, who appears to a disbelieving Evan and gently commands him to build an ark. Tools and wood arrive in Evan's yard, animal pairs follow, his beard and hair grow wildly, nomads clothes and a staff appear. Long grows impatient. Evan starts building, his family leaves him, reporters gather, and drought grips D. C. Still, Evan believes, but will he change the world? Newly elected to Congress, former local TV newsman Evan Baxter Steve Carrale leaves Buffalo and shepherds his family to suburban northern Virginia. 
where his congressional campaign declares that he will change the world without explaining how he will do so. On his first job, he meets Marty John Michael Higgins, Rita Daniels, Wanda Sykes and top Congressman Chuck Long John Goodman. Soon after his arrival, strange things start to happen, oh one, animals follow Evan without any apparent reason. Oh two he grows a beard that is restored wholly every time he shaves. Oh three eight vacant lots in Evan's neighborhood are purchased in his name. Oh for ancient tools and wood are sent to his house. Oh five the number 614 appears everywhere he goes. Evan soon learns that the number indicates a verse in the book of Genesis, in which God instructs Noah to build an ark. Later, God Morgan Freeman appears and commands Evan to build a replica of Noah's Ark in preparation for a deluge. His family initially believe that he is having an extraordinary midlife crisis. Later, his sons suspect that something greater is occurring and assist him in the construction of the Ark, although his wife Joan Warren Graham does not. Reappearing, God tells Evan the flood will come at noon on September 22nd. Animals later follow Evan to Congress. When he explains the reason for this, Chuck Long suspends him. Upon Evan's departure, some birds poop on Chuck. Joan, upon seeing a news report that features the art, takes their three sons to her mother's house, thinking to abandon Evan. Evan then builds the ark alone, gaining international notice. Sometime after Joan leaves Evan, God appears to her as a waiter at a diner, wearing a name tag displaying Almighty a play on Almighty. In this guise, some of the characters from Bruce Almighty return to the franchise. Evan Baxter Steve Carell is now the TV anchor from Buffalo who gets elected congressman. He's living a nice life when God Morgan Freeman picks him to be the new Noah. Nobody believes him, even his wife Joan Lauren Graham. The only salvation this movie has is the nice guy persona of Steve Carell. He has just enough charisma to keep this movie going. However, it is impossible to see why nobody believes him. When his wife runs off, it signaled a very artificial bent to the story. Evan is followed by hundreds of animals, and people are actually laughing. It makes no sense. I would figure he would have an army of religious people ready and willing to help. It's a manufactured reaction to make a fake hurdle for Evan to jump over. Only Steve Carell's lickability kept the movie alive. The movie serves as a reminder to cherish the time we have with our families and to prioritize the things that truly matter in life. In conclusion, Evan Almighty is much more than just a comedy. It's a film filled with powerful messages and symbolism. From the importance of faith and perseverance to environmental responsibility and the power of kindness. There are valuable lessons to be learned from Evan's journey. What do you think about Evan Almighty? Let me know in the comments below. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more movie analyzes. Thanks for watching.